my name is Mona Brage and I'm from Libya. I uh, study at the University of Minnesota Electrical Engineering Department. I'm interested in electronic engineering, um, specifically in solar cells technology. Uh, in the general courses uh, that we take, we uh, focus on microfabrication and nanofabrication in terms of how you make the any chip that you want to be functional. Uh, but in the research area, I'm interested in the second generation solar cells, which is based on morphous silicon, um, which is, um, some people will call it the 10 film technology. Actually, University of Minnesota is one of the best universities in the United States in terms of research centers. We have a big uh, nano center and uh, a, cl a clean room. So uh, the research facilities are really good. In Olivia, I was working for Schlumberger and it's an oil service company as a field uh, engineer, trainee. And um, I always wanted to resume my studying um, to master and then PhD. I always wanted to be in academia, but it's just the research facility in, in my country in terms of fabrication for uh, the technology, like nanotechnology and microfabrication is not that, that much. So, uh, the United States is one of the best countries in that field, besides Japan and maybe other Asian countries. But because of the language, it's uh, difficult to study in there. So it's easier to apply for uh, academic program where English is the first language, like the United States. So living in the United States by my own uh, is a challenge for taking responsibility of everything. And I think the biggest challenge is uh, managing the time and the budget. So time between research and classwork and having fun with friends and taking care of myself, which uh, buying stuff, taking care of the apartment and things like that. So managing the time is one of the challenges. And the other thing is managing the budget because I'm here by my own, so I have to be careful about my spending. Most of the people before I came here, they were advising me to find a Muslim friends to be with because it's very difficult to be friends with uh, people who don't have a religion or people who are Christian because of the conflict between my restrictions and their beliefs, which turns out to be wrong because I could manage to have uh, friends. Uh, some of them, they don't believe in anything. Others are Christians. But we are, as a group of friends, we do many activities and it doesn't uh, offend any one of us. So it's, um, I can say about the society, it's uh, very open-minded and they can accept you and they can respect your uh, beliefs as much as you respect their beliefs and things just go well. So uh, the highlight of uh, my first year in here, actually every single day will we'll have something that's special. But the well, most important things that I have done is uh, giving recitation for undergraduate, first year undergraduate at my university. And uh, this was a very good opportunity to experience how to be a professor, um, solving problems for a young engineers or young future engineers. Um, the other thing that I have done is uh, with Sierra Club, it's an organization that uh, focus on environmental issues so we, do, uh, we did a campaign. Uh, the campaign was uh, called uh, Co uh, Campus Beyond Coal. We, did, uh, we collect uh, petitions to submit to the president of the university so that we can think about alternative energies instead of burning coal in order to heat uh, the facilities. The University of Minnesota, they do summer camps for a week for um, young teenagers from nine to 13 years old and this summer we were doing uh, what we called girls camp. So like 20 girls will be involved from nine to 13 years old uh, for four days to learn about electrical engineering. And uh, in this four days, I will be their instructor. So that will be in July. So uh, being a full writer is really very exciting experience. First of all, because you will meet people from all over the world. Like in my pre-academic program, it was held in uh, Norman, Oklahoma for six weeks. 
there was like 30 other four writers from all over the world and we all uh, enjoyed being together for the six weeks. We lived together and uh, in different apartments, but we were meeting every day. And that was a very good experience because you will socialize with people from different countries, some, some countries that you never thought about meeting someone from. And you have something in common because we are all Fulbrighters, so we have the same regulations, the same type of visa, the same opportunity, and the same program sometimes. So that's, that's the first thing that's cool about being Fulbrighter. Second thing, it's about the prestige. When you are at the university and people ask you how, who is your funder, uh, do you have a fellowship, scholarship, and you say, no, I have a, a Fulbright scholarship. And people are saying, wow, that's very good. That means you're really a special person in your country, which is, makes you feel better about yourself. And uh, even the professors, they, they know about Fulbrighter. And being a Fulbrighter scholar means that you are an outstanding student at your country. Um, and the same way, being a Fulbrighter means being, from the other side, I mean, is representing your country to the society that you are in. So uh, in my University of Minnesota, I, didn't, I haven't met any Libyan student. So uh, I think I might be the only Libyan, in the, at least in my department. So being a representer for uh, my culture, my religion, is another responsibility, which is uh, something I enjoy doing. Um, for those who are uh, thinking about applying uh, to Fulbright Scholarship, I recommend first that um, to make a connection with the former Fulbrighters, uh, especially in the states that you are interested in applying to universities at, which will make it easier, f um, first of all, in finding a place to live and knowing about the weather, the climate, how to use the transportation system, and the state of living uh, financially. That will be very uh, important and that could be done very easily by going to a Facebook Fulbright page uh, or the state alumni uh, the government website and you can find the Fulbrighters in that region or in that state by university sometimes. Uh, the other thing is uh, being a Fulbrighter is a great opportunity and you will be Fulbrighter for life. So I encourage everyone to apply. Fulbright is one of the most prestigious uh, grant all over the world, very well known. So uh, it's a great opportunity to be a Fulbrighter.